Every morning in the wild, a gazelle awakens. One thing is for sure for the gazelle that day, as every other. She must run faster than the fastest lion. If she cannot, she will be killed and eaten. Every morning, a lion awakens. For the lion too, one thing is certain. This day and every day, he must run faster than the slowest gazelle. Whether fate names you a gazelle or a lion is of no consequence. It is enough to know that with the rising of the sun, you must run, and you must run faster than the day before for the rest of your days, or you will die. We all have to run. Run the race of life. Some of the most feared predators in the world. But what techniques do they use to help them win the race of life? The lion, king of the beasts, but nothing without his queen. The cheetah, fastest land mammal on the planet. The leopard, the secretive high climber of the big cat world. The snow leopard, elusive, camouflaged killer of frozen lands. The cougar, no escape from this leaping lion of the mountains. The tiger, the striped hunter, using stealth as a lethal weapon. Each of these fantastic felines run the race of life in their own unique way. The race in which there are no second prizes. out, the big cats are almost without peer when it comes to predators. They have come to symbolize predators on land in the same way the shark epitomizes the killer at sea. And sitting at the very top is the lion. The deep rumble of a lion's roar can be heard eight kilometers away. If you hear it, you'd better pay attention, especially if you're on the menu. What makes the lion such an efficient killer? And how do they compete in the race of life? Hunting on the African savanna, they take advantage of the cooler hours at dawn, dusk, and nighttime. But if opportunity strikes, they'll even hunt in the middle of the day. And they have a penchant for fast food. A wildebeest can achieve a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour and maintain it effortlessly. Within minutes of being born, the young can keep up with the herd. This survival tactic is necessary in the presence of so many predators, and their life depends on how soon and how fast they can run. So against this endurance athlete, how does the lion catch up in the race of life? With relatively small lungs, lions can run fast in short bursts, but have little stamina, no competition for the inexhaustible wildebeest. So they employ feline cunning to outwit their prey. 
Lionesses do most of the work, hunting in pairs or groups. The male lions hang around, waiting for dinner to be served. On open savannas, females will stalk prey from cover to cover, get in close range, then launch the attack with a final burst of speed. Another method of hunting is by ambush, and males have been found to use this strategy more. They find a bush close to something their prey needs, such as water, then settle down and wait for the right moment to strike. Powerfully built, lions are capable of bringing down large prey. Antelope, buffalo, zebra, and wild hog. They will eat just about anything that moves and they don't turn their noses up at snack-sized prey either. Speed when they need it, bone-crushing strength, and the ability to hunt in coordinated groups. Clearly, when lions play the Game of Thrones, they take no prisoners. These are the qualities that make the lion a formidable foe in the race of life. now to another undisputed frontrunner in the race of life. Consider the fastest land mammal on four legs. Unlike the powerful, stocky lion, the cheetah, long-limbed and lithe, is built for speed. When the rain arrives, the parched plains come to life, and herds of grazing animals feed on the lush green growth. For small antelopes like impala and gazelle, the new foliage is both savior and curse. Lurking amongst the tall grass is death in feline form. Cheetahs hunt by vision, and everything about the cheetah is designed for the chase. They use the cover of grass to spot their next victim, superbly disguised with spotted coat. The paw pads allow for a quiet approach. A 
victim is usually selected from 50 to 500 meters away. The cheetah launches into pursuit with no hint of stalking. It gains traction from unsheathed claws that act like running spikes and increase their grip on the ground. Clocked as fast as 90 kilometers per hour at top speed. Cheetah takes over three strides per second, and every minute up to 150 breaths. Long legs and a flexible spine allow for long strides and provide extra speed. When the cheetah catches its prey, it holds it in a suffocating bite until death. Wide nostrils help the cat to regain its breath quickly. But with all their adaptations and prowess, it may not be enough to outrun the ultimate predator humans. The cheetah's range used to spread across Asia, Arabia and throughout Africa, but it's now extinct in most of its Asiatic range. In Africa, numbers are declining rapidly due to human persecution, loss of habitat and lack of prey. Thanks to humans, this superior predator may lose its position in the race of life. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Leopard. This enigmatic feline is a true survivor in the race of life. It is by far the most adaptable and widespread of all the big cats. In Siberia, the Middle East, most parts of Asia and sub-Saharan Africa, the species is still plentiful, even thriving in habitats where other large cats have disappeared. Being a widespread species, the leopard has a variable diet, ranging from hares and porcupines all the way up to pigs and deer. As such, they are the supreme opportunist, preying on a wider range of species than any other big cat. Leopards usually drag larger kills under cover before eating. If there is too much food for one sitting, they may leave food buried under leaves for later. But in open areas with other large predators and competition from thieves, the leopard is more likely to hoist its meal up a tree where it will dine at its leisure. Lifting heavy carcasses into trees is no mean feat. The leopard is an expert climber with great strength. Leopards use stealth tactics and superb camouflage to hunt their prey their spots and rosettes make the best use of the dappled foliage as cover. They will creep with head low to within a few meters of their unsuspecting quarry. Once within range, the leopard lunges and uses sharp curved claws to seize its kill. Powerful jaws deliver the suffocating bite to the victim's neck. Leopards normally hunt at night and dusk, lurking in the darkness, silent but violent. They face the race of life in complete solitude.
the leopard is widely dispersed over our small blue-green planet. And there are some very interesting branches of the family. Sparsely distributed across the mountains of Central Asia, snow leopards are so rarely seen, they've been called the ghosts of the mountains. Like their African cousin, they are very well camouflaged, but this time their fur matches the rocks and snow of their alpine home. If a snow leopard sits quietly and doesn't want to be seen, it's almost certain you won't see it. Solitary and elusive, they spend their lives wandering the steep cliffs and rocky outcrops of their sky-high habitat. To survive the race of life, the snow leopard is supremely adapted to their cold, harsh world. They have thick fur coats and very large fur-covered paws, which act as snowshoes to keep them from sinking. Persistent in their search for food, these ghost cats roam up and down stream, canyons and ravines, following the seasonal migrations of prey. They can spend up to a week pursuing an animal, and a favorite is the barrel or mountain goat. This unfortunate prey can do nothing against the strength and agility of this rare feline. the snow leopard and the great Asian mountains behind and travel to the Americas where the cougar roams. Also known as the mountain lion and the puma, the cougar is just as elusive as its Asian counterpart. The Latin name means coat of one color. The adults are a tawny brown. Cougars feed on rabbit, moose, mountain goat and sheep, with deer as their clear favorite. With no claws or fangs, how can a deer ever hope to stay ahead in the race of life? Deer are fast and nimble and can leap high in the air even from a standstill. So this American cat needs to use all its skill and cunning to get a meal. Thirty-five million years of evolution has produced the perfect predator. Like most cats, they have excellent nighttime vision a heightened sensitivity to movement, and an acute sense of touch. Their whiskers act as special sensors useful for hunting in the dark. When the cougar catches its prey, they help the cat determine where to inflict the killing bite. Predators are a necessary part of the natural order. They send ripples through the ecological web.
take the mountain lion out of the Rocky Mountains and the delicate balance of the ecosystem collapses. Predators cull the weak, the sick and the old, and by doing so, ensure the survival of the fittest. And for a species to compete in the race of life for the long run, that's important. We leave the savannah now for the swamplands and rainforests of Asia to meet a creature that has both thrilled and terrified mankind for centuries. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night, what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? That celebrated verse from the poem The Tiger by William Blake sums up the lethal grace of this natural-born killer. Solitary and beautiful, many cultures consider the tiger to be a symbol of strength and courage. The tiger can be found throughout Indochina, Southeast Asia, and in the Russian Far East. They inhabit areas with dense vegetation. The size of their range depends on how much prey is available. Males can have territories up to 100 square kilometers, which they scent mark to signal ownership. A prime area with a high density of prey species and several females will be guarded by a dominant male. He is constantly on watch for rivals trying to trespass. Females also scent mark. She will spray her urine on trees, and this chemical signals to local males that she is ready to mate. The most aggressive disputes tend to occur between two males when a female is on heat. Of all the big cats, tigers are known for their fondness of water, often bathing in lakes and rivers as a means of keeping cool in the heat of the day. They have been recorded crossing rivers as wide as 29 kilometers and swimming for 15 kilometer stretches in open water. being afraid of the water is a useful trait. They will lie on tracks to water holes, waiting in ambush for prey, such as deer and wild pigs, to come down to drink. An adult tiger can eat up to 80 pounds of meat in one night. When it comes to parenthood, tigers demonstrate they have a tender side. A female usually gives birth to two or three cubs who are wholly dependent on their mother. Cubs begin to eat meat at around eight weeks, but they still rely on their mother to catch their food until they are around 18 months old. The tiger, like the cheetah, is high on the endangered species list. And, no surprises here, again, it is man who has done the most to make the race of life even harder for this wonderful creature. Lion. 
cheetah, leopard, cougar, and tiger. Each and every species of big cat comes with its own strengths and its own vulnerabilities. And yet every big cat born in the wild who survives to maturity can be said to be a winner in the race of life.